10 Amazing Foods to Improve Your Cholesterol Level Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance that your body needs for good health, but in the right amounts. Unhealthy levels of cholesterol can lead to a condition called high blood cholesterol. Cholesterol has a bad reputation because of its well-known role in the development of heart disease. In this video, we will discuss the roles cholesterol plays in our body function and the foods we should eat to improve our cholesterol levels. We need cholesterol in order for the body to function properly. We need cholesterol to produce hormones. Cholesterol is required for the production of steroid hormones in the body, namely testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone, which are sex hormones. These hormones are necessary for reproductive activity as well as the development of sex traits like facial hair. Cortisol is another steroid hormone linked to cholesterol. Cortisol is required for blood sugar regulation and infection prevention. Number 2. Create Vitamin D Cholesterol aids in the production of vitamin D in the body, which is obtained via sunlight. Vitamin D is necessary for the healthy functioning of the neurological system. Vitamin D is also important for blood sugar regulation, mineral absorption, healthy immunological response, metabolism, and reproduction, among other things. Number 3. Aid Digestion Cholesterol is required for the creation of bile in the gallbladder. Bile is a chemical that aids in the digestion of fats and the absorption of nutrients such as vitamins D, A, E, and K in the intestines. Number 4. Boost the immune system. Not having enough cholesterol in the diet can affect the immune system. Infections are more common and stay longer in those who don't have enough cholesterol in their blood. The body also needs bad cholesterol, commonly known as LDL, low-density lipoprotein, because it binds to bacterial toxins and neutralizes them. Number 5. Enhanced Cell Structure Our cell membranes are made with cholesterol. Cholesterol is required for cell maintenance and production. Without cholesterol, cell walls will not be correctly shaped, which can cause difficulties with the body's overall metabolism. Cholesterol also helps with transportation and communication between cells. Number 6. Improve Brain Function The brain contains about 25% of the body's cholesterol volume. Without cholesterol, the synapses will not be properly formed and the neurons in the brain will not work well. According to studies, not having enough cholesterol in the body is associated with an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. Cholesterol production is so crucial that our liver and intestines make about 80% of the cholesterol we need to stay healthy. Only about 20% comes from the foods we eat and there is an inverse relationship between the two. When we eat less food that has cholesterol, our body creates more cholesterol, and vice versa. We must maintain balanced cholesterol levels in our body in order to maintain a healthy body. Cholesterol is carried through the bloodstream on proteins known as lipoproteins. The two types of lipoproteins that transport cholesterol throughout the body are LDL, low-density lipoprotein, also known as bad cholesterol. LDLs are virtually entirely made up of fat. LDLs account for over 70% of all cholesterol in the bloodstream. LDLs have a tendency to accumulate in the arteries, causing atherosclerosis, a condition in which the arteries become harder and narrower, exposing the heart to diseases. HDL, high-density lipoprotein, also known as good cholesterol. HDL transports harmful cholesterol, LDL, from arterial walls and in circulation in the body to the liver, which then flushes it from the body. HDLs account for around 20% of your body's cholesterol. High HDL cholesterol levels can reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke. We can easily prevent the buildup of LDLs in our body by Changing our diet Maintaining a healthy weight Exercising regularly Avoiding excessive drinking Quitting smoking Do click the subscribe button and notification bell if you enjoy the video. Foods which we should eat
The American Heart Association recommends that we restrict trans and saturated fat in our diet. These types of fats are found in fried foods, processed foods with partially hydrogenated oils and processed meats such as bacon. The low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol, or bad cholesterol will be raised when our diet has these fats, thus causing plaque buildup in the arteries. We should eat the following foods. Number 1. Avocado. Avocados are high in monounsaturated fatty acids, a type of fat that raises HDL and reduces LDL cholesterol. A 2015 study found that eating one avocado per day while following a moderate fat diet was linked to a 13.5 mg per deciliter reduction in LDL, bad, cholesterol. Number 2. Strawberries. Strawberries not only have a low calorie and fat content, but they also have fiber and phytosterols, which are healthful ingredients known to have beneficial effects on LDL cholesterol. There have been several research studies on the effects of strawberry consumption on cholesterol levels. In these studies, the participants ate anywhere from 110 to 500 grams of fresh strawberries every day. According to these studies, eating strawberries on a regular basis reduced overall cholesterol levels by 4 to 10 percent. Furthermore, in some tests, LDL cholesterol was found to be reduced by 13 percent. Number 3. Oatmeal. A bowl of oatmeal in the morning can help you improve your heart health by lowering your cholesterol. Oatmeal has been shown in studies to have some heart-healthy benefits due its high concentration of water-soluble dietary fibers, particularly beta-glucan. The oat fibers in oatmeal mix with cholesterol in the small intestine, then attach to the cholesterol molecules and convey it out of the body instead of being absorbed into the blood. Oatmeal is most effective at lowering LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol. Studies showed that adults who consumed between 40 to 60 grams of oatmeal, about one bowl, daily had their LDL cholesterol levels reduced by 10% in some cases. Number 4. Fatty Fish Omega-3 fatty acids are abundant in fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, sardines, mackerel, and trout. These are good fats unlike the harmful saturated fat found in most meats. Studies have shown that omega-3 fatty acids can lower triglycerides, which are a type of fat in the bloodstream. In a review of studies, researchers discovered that taking omega-3 fatty acids from fish oil on a regular basis can cut triglyceride levels by 25% to 30%. The findings were published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 1997. Omega-3 fatty acids may also slow down the growth of plaques in the arteries and reduce inflammation throughout the body. The American Heart Association recommends that people eat at least two servings of fatty fish a week. One serving is about 3 to 3.5 ounces. The way you prepare the fish makes a difference to your blood cholesterol level. It is always good to steam, broil, or grill the fish. Do not deep fry the fish in a pot of oil as all the benefits of the fish are cancelled in the process. Number 5. Beans. Beans are an excellent source of fiber, as well as plant-based protein and minerals like iron and magnesium. Beans are also high in soluble fiber, which dissolves in water and forms a gel-like substance in the digestive tract. Soluble fiber has been known to reduce cholesterol, particularly LDL, or bad, cholesterol. Pinto beans, black beans, black-eyed beans, harico slash nady beans, connellini beans, brulotti beans, and red kidney beans are high in fiber. A review study by Canadian researchers found that eating one serving of beans per day for six weeks on average can lead to a 5% reduction in bad cholesterol, LDL. One serving equals about three quarters cup of cooked beans. Number six. Olive oil. Olive oil is a nutritional powerhouse, packed with antioxidants and heart-healthy monounsaturated fats that help lower bad LDL cholesterol while raising good HDL cholesterol HDL. In a study of blood samples from people with high cholesterol revealed less risk for harmful clotting just two hours after they ate a meal with olive oil. This is because olive oil is high in phenolics, 
which are plant compounds that prevent blood from clotting. You only need around 2 tablespoons every day to reap the benefits, use it in place of other fats. Number 7. Nuts. Walnuts are loaded with folate, vitamin E, and lots of good fats. Although they are also high in calories, they don't seem to contribute to weight gain. Walnuts are fantastic because they have omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids have been shown to reduce triglyceride levels in the circulation. Omega-3 fatty acids may also help to avoid blood clots by slowing plaque formation in the arteries. Almonds have monounsaturated fats, which lower bad cholesterol while maintaining good cholesterol. Almonds have antioxidants, vitamin E and polyphenolics, that can help prevent cholesterol from oxidizing, which makes it stick to arteries. Peanuts, pistachios, and walnuts have a similar effect. According to studies, a daily 45G almond snack, two handfuls, can make a significant difference. Even a daily handful, 23 almonds, can help. Baked or roasted nuts without salt or honey are best and are healthy. Eat a handful or two of any of the nuts mentioned and see the difference in your cholesterol levels. Number 8. Okra, Lady's Finger. Okra, also known as Lady's Finger, has mucilage, a thick gel-like substance. The sticky mucilage binds cholesterol during digestion. As a result, cholesterol is removed from the body through stools instead of being absorbed into the body. Number 9. Kale. When you eat a fatty meal, your liver converts cholesterol into bile acids, which are then released into your digestive tract. When all of the fat has been absorbed and the bile acids have accomplished their role, they are reabsorbed and used again. Bile acid sequestrants are substances that bind bile acids in the digestive tract, preventing them from being reabsorbed. The total amount of cholesterol in the body is reduced as a result of this. Bile acid sequestrants, which are found in kale, can help decrease cholesterol levels. Over time, this could contribute to a lower risk of heart disease. According to a 2008 study, drinking kale juice every day for 12 weeks increased HDL, the good, cholesterol by 27% and lowered LDL cholesterol by 10%, while also boosting antioxidant status. Kale can be cooked in several ways, such as in soup, stew, fried or roasted as chips, kale can also be added in your smoothie or salad. According to one study, steaming kale greatly boosts the bile acid binding effect. Steamed kale is 43% as effective as cholestyramine, a cholesterol-lowering medication that functions in a similar way. Number 10. Dark Chocolate Dark chocolate prepared with cocoa butter has cocoa content ranging from 60 to 99%. Dark chocolate has the highest amounts of flavonoids and polyphenols, even more than wine and tea. The high cocoa content in dark chocolate makes it a great antioxidant that helps in fighting free radical and eliminating environmental toxins from the human body on a regular basis. Dark chocolate also has phosphorus, potassium, selenium, calcium and vitamin, B12, and A. A study published in the Free Radical Biology and Medicine Journal found that cocoa, in dark chocolate, may help to raise HDL, good, cholesterol while lowering LDL cholesterol oxidation. Oxidized LDL is the culprit that increases the risk of a heart attack as it sticks to the arterial wall, causing the arteries to narrow. Enjoy the video. Do share if you or any of your friends have improved the cholesterol level as a result of eating any of the above-mentioned foods in the comment section below. We love to hear from you. And if you liked this video then make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so that we can keep coming up with your favorite content.